All right, YouTube, Facebook. Still out here pressure washing, doing the house soft wash, hitting these high peaks. Man, hold on, okay? And this right here is the toughest side of the house. It was really, 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 really nasty. So, Jose's up here hitting it last time. I just explained to the homeowner about getting way up there at the top. Hold on, let me try to focus in there. Hopefully you can see it. See way up there? At the top of the top? Yeah, that was hard to hit. Now, keep in mind, we can still keep cleaning and we can get up there. But with this whole uh, Corona Bebo thing going on, we went to the supply store. Literally, the whole bleach shelf is clear. So, no supplies because of this whole situation going on in America. So we ran out of bleach in the supply store. So we grabbed literally the last two gallons that was on the shelf. The only thing that was left was the most expensive you can get, which is like 30 second cleaner. And the 30 second cleaner is like $10 a gallon versus $2 a gallon. Hold on, let me think about this. Now it's more like three or $4 a gallon if you get the real stuff, you know? So. I said, uh, getting up there, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Right here is what I'm talking about. If we have some more bleach solution, we can get up there. But unfortunately, we ran out. And like I said, this is our fifth treatment. So he's doing the best he can, just try to rinse it down and everything like that. Uh, but for the most part, you know, the cousin said he's happy. He did get this uh, house wash. I think, uh, yeah, he saved a good $80 on this house wash because of the whole uh, economic crisis and everything like that. I don't know if you guys know, but you know, two-story houses, they're normally about $100 per story. You know, the reason is it's just harder to get up there in those peaks. It requires more, um, more so chemical solution and uh, basically it takes longer. So um, there's this guy, I don't know if it's an old man in the neighborhood, but he's, he's charging $100 for a two-story house. That's what he's doing for the whole neighborhood. So that, that's some steep competition. I don't know how he's able to afford to pay his, his insurance and keep his operating costs going. Cause you know, I gotta pay debts. I gotta pay bills. I gotta pay my worker that's up there. You know, and if I charge a hundred dollars for this, I think at the end of the day, I probably make $20. I would have made like 20 or $30 off of this house. It costs around 30, $40 for fuel operating. And then it's, I gotta pay him $30 to be here, $40, depending on how long it takes. Cause this is a easily two hours. So I pay him about $20 an hour. So $30, $40 easy going to him. And what that left? That leaves 20 or $30 left out of a hundred. So I don't know how, to, how this person is getting away with that. Maybe he's doing it by himself. Maybe he's getting everything really super cheap. I'm not sure, but I cannot compete with that. So. We're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep working, and we're gonna finish this house up. We really appreciate y'all watching these videos, and we will see you in the next one. Leave a feedback on the bottom of the video, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and um, I will respond. Thank you so much.